Since his last appearance on Show People, my guest today made his Broadway debut, earned a Tony Award nomination, became Vlogger 24601, and ripped open his shirt hundreds of times on stage. Please welcome that Iranian Jean Valjean, Ramin <laughs> Karimlu. Hello. How you doing, man? Very good. How are you? Good to see you. It's been a year. Welcome back. Thanks for having me. I know. You haven't, the last time you were here, it was like you were going to Toronto to do the show. We didn't know if you were coming to Broadway. That's it was right. all a big question mark. And look at you now. Big Broadway star. Well, I don't know about that, but here I am. <laughs> do you do you, do you feel do you feel like a Broadway star? Is it like does something happen when you get to Broadway? Do they give you like some sort of I don't know key I don't, to the city or to the street or I don't not know? Not yet, at least. You know? <laughs> not yet. I don't know. It's, it's it, I don't know what that sort of supposed to feel like. Since I've been here, it's been nonstop. I've been too busy to even like really yeah. take it in. So, you know, for me, it's just being grateful for loving what I get to do and getting to do it. It does become a whirlwind, right? I mean, you're, you're the pressure of opening and the pressure of doing the show with then awards and then, I mean, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's a lot. And New York City, everything is very close and it's so inspiring and there's so much to do. And, you know, like, I've got great management so they're always looking for the next big thing and yeah. trying to keep yourself busy while you're busy. Right. It's, it's a pretty extraordinary time and the city's amazing for it. You've been at war for a very long time now, up on those barricades and all that. Uh, did, did, this is a heavy show. Did, I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know, you're, if you look at what, you, what we really know you for, I missed your cruise ship days. I'm really sad I didn't see that because I'm sure that was a lot lighter. Yeah. But the stuff that we've seen you do is like you live in these dark worlds. And I was, I was wondering about how that sort of uh, informs your world. I don't know. It's a good question. It, like lately I've been, I guess maybe even struggling with it. It is tough, you know, it, just even the basic physical toll it takes on you. And if you've had a cold, which, you know, I'm just getting over, it's a long uphill climb. Yeah. And like you said, it is such a heavy matter that we deal with every yeah. night. But it's a lot of fun too, ironically. When I went backstage to say hi to you after the show, your backstage area is, is kind of zen. Mm -hmm. I remember it smelled really good. Yeah. It seemed very peaceful. So is that like is that how you counterbalance it a little bit? I mean, is it important for you to have like a what's yeah. that what's that environment? Well, like? because you know, I spend enough time in my dressing room. I want to make sure it's comfortable and I've got a few home comforts there, whether it's my guitar or banjo. I like aromatherapy, so and my um because it's I'm still getting to grips with the dryness uh -huh. over here from living right. in the United Kingdom. So I got my aromatherapy going with the steamers and all that. Yeah, what what was the smell? Like, what is the what is the aromatherapy in there? Because it was good. I remember it. I'm trying to think what we had that day. Could have been a <laughs> lemongrass or some sort of cedar thing going Okay, on. so you go through different, so it's like oils? Yeah. Okay. We drop it into a little uh, diffuser. I got to get some of that. I got to get one of those on here. I want that I want that smell. It's so good, right? Yeah, aromatherapy. So that, that's the trick to, like, nailing that role, aromatherapy. Maybe that's the... It's the way forward. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new method. So, uh... You do rip your shirt open. This has become sort of a legendary part of your, I think they played on that video right above the Imperial Theater when you walk down. You can see, there you are. Well, the coolest thing, which I'm actually, I kind of like that they've done it. In Times Square, that massive TV where they show the commercials, I was with my kids and I saw the, they, they saw the Lamez logo. They go, look. Yeah. And then the commercial starts, which I didn't know was there. Uh -huh. And suddenly it's like, boom, I'm Mama, square. it's you. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> No, no Jean Valjean, as far as I know, in the history of Les Mis, has ever, in that dramatic moment, said, I'm just going to take it to the next level and... Ah! Here's the story behind it. <laughs> so, when Cameron asked me to do Toronto, yeah. we wanted, I thought, in the book, when I started reading it, and I didn't have time to prepare it for what I did in London, it said this man, when they were, when they were talking about how it, he's walking through the streets, of medium stature, broad shoulders, prime of his life. I was like, geez, I'm not in the prime of my life. Right. So I thought, I'm going to work out, get strong, and feel like I'm in the prime of my life. And I got some results, and Cameron liked what he saw, and he goes, let's add 10 more pounds. And this is when we were starting to think about Broadway, and I was like, right. I peaked, I need help. So I went and got physical training, uh, personal training. So I started bodybuilding, and uh, then they were like, well, we got to show people that to show your strength, because, you know, in the, in the movie... He lifts that flagpole. There was a, right. there was a, right. to, to prove how strong he was. Right. And we don't have that in a musical. So we toyed at different moments where they would show the body. Like maybe know? you were just going to do a bunch of push ups, you try different you know, things, like whatever. Whatever comes, <laughs> do some burpees. <laughs> you know? So we toyed. There was moments where we did it earlier, and I just thought, well, how do you make it work fine if people think 
of course I could have just got bigger and ate, but I wanted, he was in the prime of his life, you know, right. and he was supple. So I, I thought the mentality of Aljean was he kept himself in shape. He didn't let himself physically get right. broken. So it all, look, hopefully it looks good. And if people then go, yes, he could lift a cart. <laughs> to all of those guys who all of these years have played Jean Valjean beautifully and sang it beautifully, but they're like 30, 40 pounds over what they should be. All these chubby Jean Valjeans must hate you. You totally like, look at you. Now, now it's like Jean Valjean is jacked. Wow. <laughs> you know, I had to bring something to the table. That I can't do what they do, so. Okay, everyone has their own thing. I can squat. So, <laughs> so here's my question. How, okay, let's pretend I'm gonna, I'm gonna challenge you. you. You're gonna like make me over. What do I have to do? How do I how do I how do I be Ramin Karamla? What are you doing? What, what do you want to be me? You look great. No, no. You're what perfect. are you? I, wanna, I just want to know what you're up to. So like, oh, what, okay. Well, tell me. Let's let's tell everyone. Wait. So what's my day? Yeah. Like, what do you what are you what are you doing? What time do you get up? Okay. I try and get my eight hours. Okay. So usually I'm in bed by about one one thirty. Okay. Um, depending on the day, there's two days a week where I cook for a couple hours for the next few days. Okay. I'm what do you cook? Mac, what, what are you eating? What are you What are you making? So you make your own food. I usually make the same thing every time, so I'll, I'll... Breakfast, what am I having for breakfast? Okay, for, for breakfast, I blend, I blend my first meal. I have two breakfasts. Two, two breakfasts? Yeah, so okay. one starts out with two well, cups When you of, first get up? First thing I do is two cups of almond milk. Okay. Two cups of dried oats. Okay. Two scoops of whey protein. Okay. Four ice cubes. All right. So I have that. Uh, that that then, sounds easy, I can do that. Well, that's about 800 calories right there. Okay. Oh, well, all right. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah, it's two cups of dried oats <laughs> right. of porridge, you know? Okay. And but then, you do that 8 a.m. and then what? Like late morning? You're, and then you're, about 30, 40 minutes later, I'll have six, 30, oh, wow. six egg whites. Okay. Or I make protein pancakes. Sounds good. Fun. Chocolate chip? No. No, no, just... <laughs> yeah. Well, you can. You can add chocolate chips, but you know. A lot of maple syrup I'm and butter. I'm still trying to reach my goals. No. <laughs> It's, the ingredients are cottage cheese, egg whites, okay. and oats. It doesn't sound great, but it tastes amazing. There's a lot of oats in you. Yeah, that's where I get a lot of my oats. complex carbs. Okay, oats. oats. And, then I'll, and then with either the pancakes or the egg whites, I'll have um, Greek vanilla yogurt. Okay. Low sugar, high protein. Blueberries, cup of blueberries. I like that. So and when are you hitting the gym? The gym I usually hit... Uh, anywhere between 11 or 3 within those times, depending if I got castings, rehearsals, how I'm feeling, depending on what lift I'm doing. If it's deadlifts, you know, can't do that too close to the show. Do you, you, now, you could, like, bench press me, probably. Maybe. Yeah, you can. You, you, <laughs> you're kind of terrifying. Like, you, you're, like, really strong. You're a strong dude. But how much can you bench press? Uh, not much. Maybe 300 pounds. Not much. Is well, that not much? Uh, there's people who can do more. That's like everything in the shot, in the middle Put shot. You could lift me and all the furniture. That's. I've never been able to lift stuff like this before. It's crazy. I never thought I could. Um, your your kids must be like, Daddy's huge. I mean, you can just like throw them. Like, you could you could juggle then. them. I give them a little booby dance every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do that? <laughs> you do that? Time, yeah. I've never. You never uh, documented that for Instagram, have you? Not yet. That'd be a video. That'd be like a vine. That'd be a good vine to so just be on like repeat. That. Exclusive to Broadway.com. <laughs> yeah, it's <was> exclusive. <laughs> my my ten year old is not impressed. Titty, he, just titty like, he just keeps staring at me. Six year old's like Well now I've enjoy it. You know, before I didn't, I did it because I had to and I wanted to uh, achieve a certain look and strength for a part. Right. Now I'm enjoying it. I got a kick out of Oh, let me try a four hundred thirty five pound deadlift. Okay, let me try four fifty. Right. Now you know, the role is set. I've I've achieved what I need for Valjean. Now Ramin is enjoying bodybuilding, and I, so wait, when I got to do it. So I might as well see how strong I can so get. So your neck's gonna get like, like you're gonna be one of those guys. You're just gonna keep going. No, when, you, when you're gonna go like that's weight. enough. I have a weight limit, but you okay. know I can get stronger without getting bigger. Do you drink? Do you have any? Do you have fun? I do have fun. You this have is, fun. This is funny though. This okay. is fun for me. I enjoy this food. This, this is fun. I'm not forcing this food that I don't like. I. This is the stuff I like to eat. Right. It just so, so there, happens that it's clean eating. There's no like indulgence moments. Like, I have a cheat meal once a week. Like what? What would you have? Well, then I'll go for like straight up pizza. Okay. Uh, Shake Shack. Shake Shack. But then I'll like go, I'll go all out. It'll be two double cheeseburgers back to back. Right. Okay. Okay. And it's nonstop till I just can't eat anymore.
So do you have like a late, like on your day off, do you ever just like veg out and like binge watch TV and eat my oh, yeah, Shake Shack and, and not do anything healthy today? I try and do that. You try, but you, it's actually hard. You have to like fight. You have to fight to be unhealthy. Yeah, like I'll, I'll be twiddling my thumbs. I'm like, at the very least, I'll go to the gym. Then I'll come back, and then usually Sunday nights and Mondays I'll watch the NFL or Netflix. Uh huh. What do you watch on Netflix? Google. I think I've pretty much finished Netflix. <laughs> you when I was can't sick finish last Netflix. Week, I finished it. I was just watching everything. Uh, you know, Boardwalk Empire, Sons of Anarchy. You would love to be on a type of like a show like one of those, right? Yeah, or Fargo. Did you watch that? Oh yeah, Fargo's great. That was amazing. That was great. Yeah. So we should like develop. So they should develop a Ramin Karamla show. What would that be? What would be like the dream? What kind of character would you want to play? Let's think of like, let's think big. Well, I'd like to go with something physical now while I can. Right. Oh, yeah, of course. Since I'm sort of in that zone right. as opposed to having to do it later. Right. Okay. You know, Nick Jonas, he's on that Kingdom program. It's about cage fighting. Okay. Uh -huh. Maybe that can be his next. Uh huh. Opponent. You actually, it's funny, I interviewed Tony Yazbek from On the Town, and he is totally wrong for this, as he said, but you'd be perfect for like Magic Mike the musical. Do you know what? That movie was excellent. I, I, got, I got to learn how to dance, for one. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, yeah, I was wondering about your dance I skills. I bust the move. Don't you worry. Can you? Just give me you, a couple months. Okay, you, you have to practice a little bit. Yeah. Were you busting moves on the cruise ship? You were, right? <sighs> yeah. And the, so, the worst part was I thought I was good. You thought you are right. Yeah. Right. I was dancing like I... I knew what I was. I'm good. God, I wonder if there's some tourist out there who, like, videotaped a show. Right. You know what I mean? We need to get... I have some videos. You have video of your cruise ship? Oh, yeah. What? Nope. No. <laughs> not going to happen. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? Not going to happen. Not even a little clip? No, and the, the, the scary oh part God. is now somebody definitely has something and it's going to crop up. It's going to pop up on YouTube any minute. It would suck, though, if somebody came to you, like Martin Scorsese called you or something. I was like, I want to make a movie with you, but you got to be a big fat guy. So we gained 70 pounds of fat. Can you do that? Go to Shake Shack every day, Ramin. From Scorsese? I, well, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> as long as he's giving me a bit of time. What's you could, my window? Because you could turn it right back around in a, in a second. That's yeah. the thing. De Niro did. I just want to put this out there. You are not only like one of the best, you are not only the, the best John Valjean I've ever seen, but you're, this is like one of the best stage performances I've ever seen. This is an incredible, incredible performance. So what I want to know is, do you ever suck? Do you ever like just hit, hit the crappy notes and... Are you ever just not on? Did I just get lucky? Or um, what, what, what? Tell me about knock the... on wood. <laughs> Every time someone talks about like the money notes of Valjean, they're like, "Last time I heard of someone cracked or something." I'm like, I don't even want to hear those stories because, man, I gotta do it every night. Um, listen, it, it, it's it's each to their own. Some people, you might on that same night you thought I was great, someone might thought I sucked. So. But have, you know. have there been any like really sort of embarrassing mishaps or or funny things that have gone wrong or? Oh, well, I, well <laughs> it didn't look bad on me if you didn't know the show, Poor Samantha Hill. Why? I was in my dressing room, and then the scene was coming up for Dear Cosette, you're such a lonely right. child. Totally missed it. But this is the weird thing. So I'm in my room just reading over a script. Gentle knock at the door. Come in. I uh, mean, aren't you supposed to be on stage? <laughs> and I was like, well, why aren't you panicking? So I, we're having this conversation, and then there's this big old instrumental happening. And I'm thinking, what's Sam doing? So now I'm like, well, I can't rush on as if I've missed a cue. I'm going to come on at an appropriate time. So what was happening time. on stage? Sam was just looking at the garden. and just <laughs> She's thinking, you're dead. So I thought, okay, well, when should I go on? You know? So I came on just enough to give her a look like, because I come in, dinner's on the table. <laughs> you know, something like that. And she's like, and then she was able to go into her line. So I missed my whole verse. and Wow. I just had to look at it. What do you like, think the audience thought Jean Valjean was doing? What, what oh, is he doing in his have, downtime, I think Jean Valjean? Sam. I think Sam had a friend in who hadn't seen the show before and until she was told she didn't know. Because I thought, well, if I come on panicking, this gonna look, I can't come on looking like something You can't come running wrong. on. That's it. I'm like, <laughs> and while, when stage management came up to me, we're having this calm, collected conversation. Yeah, it sounds like, so peaceful. <laughs> if, you're, if you're not nervous or panicky, then... <laughs> Let's just. Uh, yeah, it sounds like a really it. like a really calm atmosphere backstage. <laughs> hey, I've you never want to go on. You're, you're you're singing right now. It's just. But my stomach dropped because I'm like, I, m I just missed the scene. You just totally missed it. What happened? You were just the aromatherapy got to your head. What? Well, my <laughs> one thing, my uh, speaker was down. Oh, okay. So that didn't help. Right. No. It's never just, again. It's not good. The next few days, I was just like. There's a lot of plot. Early. There's a lot of plot in every second of Les Mis. I know. You can't, you can't leave anything out of that thing. 
if there's any moment to miss, I think. Uh, okay, I you picked the, right the best. Yeah. The best moment that other you could have missed. Never again. Okay, but no one. But every every other night, I'm sure you're really on for that moment. I'm sure you're like early for that moment now. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Are you ever seeing Bring Him Home? Beautifully. Wow, that's a great Broadway moment. You have to see this guy singing Bring Him Home. But do you you don't ever just like have like a frog note, like an obviously bad note. I don't Thankfully, know. I'm not a so singer. Far, I always wonder what it's like. Thankfully, so far, not on Bring Him Home. The, the one crazy note is flight. Hmm. When he sings, took the silver, took my flight. Yeah. Sometimes. That, 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 that's, a, that's a tricky one. Well, I kind of know when it's not going to happen. Right. So you adjust it. So I just go into like a nine inch nail scream and <laughs> hope for the best. So what's the, you know, you, you, like I said, you've done a lot of these dark shows. You've done a lot of uh, these sung through shows. I'm actually trying to think what's the most like spoken dialogue you, that you've done in the West End on Broadway, right? I mean, it's like, it's limited. Yeah, it's a lot, of, a lot of sing talking. That's why I think I'd be happy to stay in this as opposed to go to a new musical for a while. I think then after Valjean, I got to take a little break. Yeah. Reassess. I've been thinking a lot about like who I am and who am I and all yeah. that sort of stuff. <laughs> you know, I've been traveling so much. I've been away from my kids. Yeah. There's a lot of opportunity here and I got a lot of passion to be here. Yeah. So I just got to find a better balance, I think. Uh-huh. And figure stuff out, but you know, right now I'm in a good place. I've got a great job. I, I feel inspired. Yeah. And you know, the truth be known, I'm money I can put in the bank for my family. So. Yeah. I'm not gonna rock that boat right now. Yeah, but, but I know you like you want to do a play. Like you're talking about doing oh, plays, sure. and you plays, that last TVs. time you heard talk about like doing David Mamet or something like that. And yeah, and I'm you know I got there's what's great again about New York. There's a lot of great acting coaches here, and yeah. people I kind of I go to now with my spare time to keep myself inspired. I learn new things when I go for our castings, I go to them. Right. But what's nice is what we pick up and develop for these parts that I go for, I then, I can use that craft every night, you know. Right, practice right. Practice what I'm learning it during the right. day. Right, right. Yeah, so how do you keep it like fresh for you? I mean, is that how you just, you're yeah. always sort of stepping you know, into it? So many things can inspire you. Like I watch a great episode on something and I'm like, you know, you just want to be a better actor and it, it just, Everything can be a source of inspiration, you know? What's the stupidest show you watch? You, you said a lot of really, like, cool shows, but, like, what's, like, do you have any just, like, bad? Do you like any bad TV? Not really. No, because there's so much good stuff right now. Hmm, that's true. It's hard to keep up with I, the my, my guilty pleasure before, before I really settled down into where I'm living with, and I have my HBO and Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> WWE Divas. Oh, the... That was my guilty pleasure. The wrestling? Yeah. Those ladies? But it followed the female wrestlers. Those crazy ladies. And those the relationships big, and the stuff that big, goes on. Do you find those kinds of women's bodies attractive? Oh, yeah. Like muscle? Women who lift? Like muscle women? That's hot. Yeah. That's hot. Big time. So what about those, like, scary, like, sometimes I've, I've seen online, like, I've Googled something, like, those women who have, who basically look like men with wigs on because they lift so hard. Well, that's hard. not a great picture to paint. <laughs> you know? <laughs> don't, I mean, a lot of them Maybe that, that specific one's not going to be one that <laughs> turns my crank, but... <laughs> Well, yeah, I got into it in Bridging because I thought it'd be a bit more behind the scenes about how the WWE works. Right. What was it really? What were they doing? Throwing tables at each other? And what was it? It wasn't that great. I don't know. <laughs> it was, it was pretty. Right. It was, not, it was <laughs> mindless to watch for half an hour. But you can find inspiration in anything. But basically. I grew up with watching wrestlers, so I. Me too. I, I love wrestling. I have a wrestling. soft spot for like you know, with the Triple H and John Cena and people right. like that. Right. 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 Where's this conversation going? I don't know. <laughs> So I, I'm excited to see what you do next. I, I like you like this. I liked you as a phantom. God knows. I watched that a lot. I liked you in Love Never Dies. I like all that stuff. But I want to see you just, I want to see what's next for you. I like the idea of a TV show, though. I think we should develop a TV show. Okay. I think we need to get some, some people in there into Les Mis to develop a show for you. Yep. Something where you can Something show off cool. your, Something edgy. your dancing boobs and all that. Oh, yeah. Maybe get you that and... on prime time there. <laughs> Is that a skill you just use on people, like I don't just know. to entertain your kids? I'm embarrassing myself, to be honest. <laughs> it's all right. It's good. That's it what, is for the kids, though. That's, of course. It's, it's all for the kids. Yeah. It's all for the kids. Everyone needs to check out Les Miserables at the Imperial Theater. This guy is awesome. He's, you're giving an amazing performance, Thanks. and I'm so glad you came to Broadway and got to do this because Me too. it's phenomenal. Yeah. And all the chubby Jean Valjeans, you're just gonna have to get on that regime. Oh, God. Well, thank you so much for me. No problem, man. It's good to see you as always. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.